Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I have got to find some hearts because I do not like that beeping. So anyway, now that we are back at the lobby, we can finally do something about these things. Well, I didn't mean to blow up the torches. <laughs> uh, I also wanted to cut down just the webs. Not... Miss them completely. Because you can get stuff from them, like rupees. And this treasure chest, which contains the compass! Voila! Yeah, I was looking around the grass in this area before I started this part for some hearts. I figured there would be at least one heart drop somewhere, but there wasn't. Anywhere. Why? Why must you torment me like this with the beeping? <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with one heart at the moment. Although, do I have? Oh no, I just have lantern oil. Too bad, I guess. Wait, what's what's in here? Any hearts for me? Oh, heart! Yes. No more beeping. Thank you. I can. I said I can move on now. <laughs> wait, wait. Actually, this I am too far. I mean, I'm. Uh, at the wrong door to the right. I'm supposed to go one more over. I'm supposed to go this way. Because remember that there was that four-way split on the map? Uh, I mean that four-way split room that I couldn't do anything about that had just a single key at the moment? Yeah, I can do something there now. Oh, I should actually do something in this room as well. Now that I have the compass, you can see on your map that um, treasure chests as well as other markings will appear on it. You can check your map whoops, by pressing the 1 button and by zooming in with the A button like so and grabbing with the A button to look around. You can see monkeys on the map, treasure chests. I've been doing a rather good job of getting all the treasure chests, although I probably should go back to that room to get that one over there. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna detour back there before I move forward to the, the four-way split room here that I was talking about. Yeah, but first, as long as I'm here, I'm going to get this. You'll notice that there's a bunch of the propellers that are blocking this gate. Well, they activate this gate, but which order do you hit them in? Hmm, look on the ground. See the zigzag? That's the order that you gotta hit them in. Boop, 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 boop. And there we go. That's how it's done. Now, in here is a required item to finish the dungeon. A staple in Zelda. The big key! Yeah, this is the only key that opens the door to the boss. Uh, I should... I guess I could show you this bridge now that I... Now that I made it across here and I don't need this bridge anymore. <laughs> yeah, it breaks like that so easily. Anyway, I'm going to go back to that other room that had that other treasure chest and see what is inside it. You know, the room with the tiled, uh, I mean the enemies that are uh, underneath the floor tiles. Yeah, that room. And here we are. Back to the tile room. So, now that we have the Gale Boomerang, these guys are now vulnerable. And oh, they are the silly enemy when they are threatened. <laughs> they they seem quite creepy, but look at how s silly they move. I mean, seriously, they're they're complete and utter wimps against the Gale Boomerang. And yes, they are a, a completely helpless when they're knocked into the water as well, which will kill them in one hit, just like the spiders. I'm well, Skulltulas. So let's tear them apart while knocking down the torches at the same time. Actually, I only had to knock down that one, didn't I? Yeah, because I can get to the treasure chest that I need to with just that one down. And it gives you another piece of heart. Woohoo! Alright, now I'm gonna go back over to that four way split room. Hello, monkey. Yes, I'm coming. Don't worry, I'm following you. You are very quick. But here we are, back at this room. You'll notice that there's no wind indoors, obviously. So what you gotta do is make your own wind to flip this over. 
Voila! Uh, the, as you see, it splits into three other paths. But I, I'm not sure which one I want, want to do first. I think... I had an itch. <laughs> that was my bad. I think I want to do the um, first room, I mean the middle room first. Before I do the other two. Because I'm pretty sure this one has a key that I need. I think. Could be wrong though. There's definitely a path that I have to go through first in there anyway. I don't think I need a key to do so. Ow. I really hope I don't need a key to do so. I'm just going by memorization here. Notice all the empty spots? That's how many monkeys are left. So there's three more to find. It's one big happy monkey family. <laughs> Okay, so as you see, you cannot cross that gap at all. There's no rope whatsoever, so you can't use the power of multiple monkeys to just swing and jump your way across. So you've got to do this. Well, at least go down this path at first before you can move on. And should switch to that right away. You come down here where it's, there's a lot more room to fight you. Thank you. Oop, missed somehow. I think there's another one that I can hit right away. Delightful. And more slow climbing. <laughs> Pretty uh, invigorating gameplay when you're climbing, hey? <laughs> now to the right. Well, maybe he doesn't move all that much faster towards the right than he does going up. I don't know, it all feels really, really slow to me. Did I get the one up here? Yeah, I did. No, it's the enemy music is going though. Oops, don't, don't. There you go. Maybe, maybe there's an enemy coming up up here. That would make a lot of sense because I'm in range of it then. Yep. And I don't think there's anything else up here. I don't see anything on the map, obviously, but I mean anything that I need to do to unlock other parts of the dungeon or something like that. So let's just go through here. And we got ourselves a puzzle room. First off, take care of these. Otherwise they're going to be really in your way. Ah! <laughs> Bad serpent! Okay, now you see there's that critter guarding the treasure chest. The uh, Deku-like, I believe it, it was, or something. Yeah, Deku-like. Mm. There's, so, there's so many Deku enemies that it's like... I'm getting confused by their names. Okay, the first thing you want to do is... I think... Yeah, I suppose I can do this first. The order doesn't really matter all that much. I'm just trying to think efficiently here. Throw it in. Very easy. Boop. And now we make your jumps across to the chest. I think there's a key in here, actually. Could be wrong, though. Yep, it's a key, a very dull key. But it wouldn't be dull if it was outside, though. <laughs> but I already explained that before. Now, you're, you are here. Why are you here? I like to kill me. Alright, now, for this puzzle, you could just throw the bomb up there to destroy that boulder, but here's a better way. Lock onto that first, and then that. Voila! <laughs> it's a lot safer, too. And you are guarding this place. Not very well, though. Uh, you can cut uh, the babas or serpents off from the ceiling using the gale boomerang. I don't know if it makes it any easier to defeat them or anything like that. I I don't really think so. In fact, I might actually be I'd be better off leaving them up there, <laughs> if anything. Yeah, but whatever. Now what I need to do is. No wait, do you hear that? 
Yeah, there's a monkey behind there. Someone hates these monkeys so much that they're willing to cement them into their own rooms. <laughs> Which I can easily break up. Voila. Good thing that doesn't hurt the monkey. I would think that the shrapnel, the blast, would, would do something. <laughs> but I guess not. And... okay, let's move on. And go back through the four-way path. Well, go back to the four-way path. I can just hop off here, right? Without... yeah, no trouble. I didn't want to fall into the hole or something, then, you know, in the back of the door. I can be thinking ahead here by flipping those over both at the same time. Just because this one will be in position for me to walk over then when I get here. Voila! I am getting the hang of it. <laughs> I'll back through here. Oh, I should show you a little glitch I found. Well, I don't know if this is a glitch, but I, I gotta pull it off somehow. You, the, the idea is to flip the bridge over, and then while the bridge is flipping over, get yourself hanging off the edge on here, and then attempt to drop down and something funny will happen. So what I'm gonna do is do that and then hang off the edge. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to start the cutscene, but look what happens here. <laughs> Did you see that? I'll show that again. That was rather easy to do, actually. A lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay, and then drop off the edge. <laughs> okay, I'm going to press A to drop down. It doesn't work. <laughs> Why? That is so weird. I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's just a physics thing. Like, that wasn't supposed to happen and it automatically corrects itself or something. But, did those enemies just walk themselves off the edge because I glitch... I caused a glitch scene or something like that? That would be so weird if that's what actually happened. Because they're not here. They're supposed to come at you from both ends and... Oh, yeah. Um, I think I'm actually going to end off the part here because I'm getting close to the end of the dungeon. Uh, so yeah, I think that's a good idea. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you when I open this locked door in the next part.